welcome. Crayfish 2022 season, baby. Drop and bite. Here we go. I'm going to roll all the clips for the whole season. So sit down, get a chook, and let's go. Oh! Just like that, the Perth Crayfish 2022 Cray Run begins. Well, there you have it, the first pull of the Perth Cray White Run 2022 season has begun. As you can see, we've pulled the first pot and we have got one white. Now, timing of this pull was early December in a period when we expected to start getting some good numbers, but it was extremely difficult season and we personally struggled in the beginning to find the crayfish. But as we go along, you will see how that changes and I'll go along with what we do. As you can see, I've pulled the measurement tool out. The crayfish, the Western Rock Lobster in the West Coast bioregion, need to be 76 millimeters on the carapace. Once you use the measurement tool to measure, you then pull the center tail, clip it off, so you can show fisheries officers that you are doing it for recreational purposes. Put it in some salt water or a live tank with salt water or fresh water just to minimize the legs all falling off so the crayfish do not stress out when there's no water. Because when they stress out, they lose their legs. There's three in here, what do you want to do? Yeah, lob it all in. If they've got one, there's signs that we're in that right spot where they're moving. Yeah. Now, on to bait. We are using blue mackerel. Now you can get these from generally your uh, wholesale bait shops. Um, we used a store in Wangara, um, but also, you know, tackle shops also sell this type of bait. Generally with crayfish, a lot of fishermen refer them to the cockroaches of the ocean. So some will say use a certain type of bait and some will say just use anything and everything. Load up those bait boxes and you will see crayfish. As you can see here, uh, we have used one blue mackerel, half in one bait box and half in another. We are pulling every two days. If you're going to leave the cray pots for an extended period of time, then I would recommend you to load up the bait boxes to keep as much bait in there as possible for the extended duration of how long those pots will be sitting on the ocean floor. What a team! What a team! Now, in the beginning, you will get moments where there are no crays in your cray pots. Everyone goes through this. Even the most seasoned fishermen go through this. Well, we did, and don't let that stop you. Keep going, keep persisting, and you will then start seeing the numbers.
think that one buried. buried. Yeah. Buried on the ground. I know. Yep. Yeah. So Never they, give up. Keep persisting, keep yeah. persisting, yeah. find the good ground, and they start yep. to come. That is a big white, bro. Damn. Now, jobs on the boat. We have the skipper and then there's two deckhands. The first deckhand is controlling the gaff, picking up the floats, guiding it through the cray pot tipper, as you can see there. And then the second deckhand, deckhand grabs the rope and guides it three times through the winch system. With this winch system is operated via a switch and they slowly start to come up and the crays are inside the cray pot. Everyone on the boat has their own unique job to make it a smooth operation and to keep everyone safe. Teamwork makes this whole thing the most enjoyable. Now let's talk about placement. Once you've offloaded your old bait and you've put in the new bait into the bait boxes it's time to get the rope ready make sure it doesn't tangle and it is time to throw the pot back overboard in the perfect location now for the crayfish white run when you are setting your cray pots you want to ensure that you are going for the whites so that means we need to place these pots as close as we can to the reef on the western side on the sand. Putting a cray pot on the reef will end up in getting the residential crays, which we call the red crays. If you are specifically going for the whites, then these cray pots need to be positioned, as I said, west side of a reef on the sand. And as they walk through the night, the crayfish will smell the bait, they'll go into the cray pot, you'll pull it the next morning before the sun, as the sun just comes up and you will have a nice feeling. Is it tired or is it not? Come on. Yeah, the dogs. Yes. Oh, yes. How good is that? That is a good pot, boys. That is a good pot. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight, eight, and then eight near. One, two, three, four, five. You can grab three of these. That's it. Let the skip do the bloody 
do the goods. Go. Go. Nah, bro, your boat. Down she comes. This is the stiff one. Go on. Yeah, the dogs. Oh, look at the size of that. Oh, it's crazy, shitty, baby. In you go. Oh, shit. Oh, yep. Oh, there we go. The big one. Oh, yep. Oh, yeah. Let's go again. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> season last day how good's benny the skip we got brett man what a team that's it for us it's been a bloody good season lots win. lots of gusting winds lots of shit weather the best day is the last day of course but at the end of the day we got a massive feed for the family for the friends i hope you all got the same and that's it for the crayfish white run 22 season yeah, yeah, boys. Boys. Yeah.